When I first saw this animal head, which I knew wasn't real, on the wall, I asked my husband, I said, do you see that? He said, no. Well, I knew it wasn't real. I knew it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. About 15% of patients with macular degeneration experience phantom visions. Reports we have had include animals, people, children, flowers, vines, and horse carriages. These phantom visions are not related to mental health problems. They are common in visually impaired individuals. Frequently, patients are afraid to tell their family and physician for fear they will be thought of as mentally ill. These phantom visions are named for Charles Bonnet. He was a Swiss naturalist who described the hallucinations his grandfather experienced. He observed that his grandfather was lucid, and Charles realized that these were related to his grandfather's vision loss. Professor Ramachandran, director of the Center for Brain and Cognition at the University of California, theorized in his book, Phantoms of the Brain, that our brains constantly generate images for what we think is occurring in our visual world. Without the reality of our vision to override these assumptions, the brain is free to make up its own reality. Family members and personal physicians need to be informed of the problem, and the patient needs to be reassured. Maximizing medical and surgical care, along with low vision care and rehabilitation, may help some patients.